Happy Together is another continuation of Wong Kul Wai's fascination with the many types and experiences of love. And in this film, he follows the theme of toxic love, when two people who are always arguing and getting into fights fall in love because of those destructive moments. We follow Frey and Ho as they both become accustomed to their temporary lives in Argentina. But as is normal for them, after being together for a period of time, Ho asks Fei to go their separate ways and take a break in their relationship, something they do quite a bit. I remember he told me he told me he was very happy to be together, so I thought I'd finish it. But I'll get back to him. As they both go their separate ways, Fei takes different jobs to save up so that he can go back to Hong Kong, while Ho goes around with other men getting drunk and having sex. But after one night when he gets into a fight, Fei takes Ho back to his apartment so that he can rest and recover from his injuries. And once again, their love for each other quickly rekindles, but as the fiery passion of love shines bright, it also burns out as fast, and again, they begin to argue, leaving them both going their separate ways at the end. The love that is displayed in this movie is one that is as destructive as it is romantic. Both characters clearly have strong feelings towards each other, and it is those feelings that blind them from the reality that their love is unhealthy. But that's what makes love such a strong emotion. When we fall for someone like Fei and Ho have for each other, we oftentimes look past the issues that are right in front of us because all we see is the person that stole our hearts. For Fei, he looks past the constant heartbreaks he receives from Ho, who always decides that they should take a break from each other. And that is because when in love, sometimes all we want back is those good times and to forget about all the bad. This kind of love is really common. How many times have you heard stories from friends or family where they always go back to their ex even though everyone knows it's not good for them? A love that is blinded because the feeling towards a person are so strong you're willing to get hurt again just so that you can relive your best moments with them. It is something we see with Faye. He understands that he would get hurt by Ho again but takes him in when he's injured because he misses the old times when they were inseparable. He even states that he wished Ho would stay injured because he knew once Ho was fully recovered the cycle of heartbreak Would continue with them constantly fighting and arguing. Yang Ye, I 直都冇话俾何宝荣听。其实我唔想佢咁快好翻。佢受伤嗰排系我同佢最开心嘅日子。But his love for Ho is a feeling that he can't just get rid of, as we see the personality changes from Fei when he's without Ho to with him. Without Ho, Fei is more prone to mood swings and gets annoyed very easily. Shown when he tries taking a group photo for some guests. Shama. And then, when he accepts Ho back in his life, that same scene is played out again. But now he's full of life and laughter. A toxic relationship is confusing to understand because when you're the person looking in that relationship, you know that it won't last and that it is unhealthy. But to be in one where the person you love the most now is someone that you can't stand, it's a tough emotion to go through. We never get to see what Fei and Ho's relationship was like before or how it started, which is a good thing because you put your own memories on theirs and build a previous backstory based on your life, and that way you get to understand what it is like to be in a relationship as destructive and loving as theirs. That way, you truly are walking in the life of Fei and Ho, and begin to accept how two people that can hate each other can truly love each other at the same time. We see their love, how they interact and dance together, and no one can deny there is not a connection there because their relationship is electric at times. An emotionally raw showing of a relationship that is something that people do want. The unpredictability and the constant arguing can create a sexual tension that maybe a normal relationship cannot. Once again, Wong Kul Wai doesn't vilify such a love. He understands that every type of love is beautiful and destructive. That's why there isn't a hero in our story. Ho has toxic traits that impact Fei badly. And Fei has toxic traits that impact Ho, such as hiding his passport so he cannot leave. You have my passport. You have my passport, Mr. Man. You take me. But that toxicity is what keeps these two men coming back together. However, this movie doesn't 100% condone this relationship because it is one that can be dangerous and lead to acts of violence and domestic abuse. It is unhealthy and one that seems to always lead to sadness. That is why Wong Kar Wai ends the movie with them being separated and has Fei having feelings towards another character, Chang. Chang is a straight man, and Fei begins to fall in love with this man. But he never tells Chang his feelings, and eventually Chang leaves Argentina to continue his journey. Chang becomes a possibility of a new start that there could be someone out there that treats him right. 
Unfortunately for Faye, it's someone that he can never have due to their different sexuality. But he has fond memories of their time and even keeps a memento to always remind him of Chang. A clear sign that he has forgotten and moved on from Ho as he leaves behind the waterfall lamp that was given to him. Something he kept as a reminder of their love, but now that time of his life washed away by the real waterfall. Happy Together is a movie about a toxic love that is destructively beautiful and Wong Kar Wai once again delivers a movie that understands the complexity of each individual's idea of what love means to them. So, I ask the question to you again. Are you toxic?